So let's talk about retention policies in Office Online. Now, there's two different ways to handle them. What is becoming the preferred way to handle them is through the Compliance Center in your uh, Microsoft 365 admin. So you see my Microsoft 365 Admin Center here, and you're going to see Compliance right here. And the advantage of doing it that way is it's compliance settings for everything in Microsoft 365, not just Exchange. Exchange uses retention policies and tags. And you can still manage that older style of retention policies, but that is being phased out in favor of the more comprehensive compliance. Now, we're going to take a look at that in a subsequent video a little later on. But for right now, we're going to take a look at the exchange approach using the message retention policies. And remember, keep in mind, these retention policies will only impact things that are in exchange. So I'm going to go to my exchange admin center. And because this is being moved to that compliance section, in the new Exchange Admin Center, it actually doesn't exist here. In order to manage the old style of dealing with the retention policies, we have to go to the classic Exchange Admin Center. Now, retention policies are made up of two things. We're going to find it under Compliance Management. And here are two different things, retention tags and retention policies. The retention tags are specific tags that you can put or a user can put on an email. And you'll see here we have a name for the tag, what type it is, whether it's personal, default, whatever. You can see the retention period and then what happens when that retention period is done. So the one month delete, it's a personal tag. You can retain something for 30 days and at the end of that 30 days it'll be deleted. The default one is we're going to keep it for 730 days or two years and then we're going to archive it. Now a policy is a bunch of these tags stuck together. So in the retention policies you're going to see the default MRM policy. So this MRM policy has access to all of these different tags. So if we assign this policy to a user then the user is going to have all of these different tags that they can use to tag their emails that's going to set their retention policies. Now there are some drawbacks to this. It is kind of reliant on users going through and tagging emails and things that they want to keep or things they want to get rid of. And that doesn't always happen exceptionally well. So what happens more often than not is the default tag is the one that's applied and executed. And it will be unless they change that. So, like I said earlier, this is the older way of dealing with retention policies. The preferred method now is to use, let me head back over here, is to use this compliance tool. We'll deal with that in a subsequent video a little later on.